Hi friends. We all get caught up in the illusion that there is only one right answer sometimes, a lot of the time. Um, is this is a such a such it's, it's, it's actually a difficult thing um, to really come to um, to be aware of when when you need to that um, that most of the choices that are put in front of us most of the judgments that we make completely automatically are based on this paradigm of duality that it's either this or it's this and there's no in between black and white but there's no black and white there's only shades of gray there's hundreds of shades of gray and every an every question has many answers even if it's even if it is asked in a way that suggests that there's only two answers which is what most questions are um, that the yeah even if it seems like there's a, there can only possibly be two answers. There's, there's usually more. We, just to give an example, um, we're talking a lot about um, the idea of of kind of knowing you, the innate kind of um, perfection that we have as human beings. Uh, Morton over the last couple of days was talking a lot about um you know this this the mechanism that we have to just come back naturally sink back um to to the to wholeness that we we have the self-correcting system inside us and um th there's you know this one interpretation of this is that um, because we're perfect, we are perfect, we have a self-correcting system, we don't need to do anything to feel okay, that we just don't need to do anything at all. And that is sort of this duality, like as if there's a, you know, as if there's a, a, a war between the two ideas of um, working hard to change, to become who you really want to be, and accepting yourself as you are right now. Are those two things opposing forces? Is that a paradox? It is a paradox because you can have both. You can accept yourself as you truly are and yet continue to work on changing to become um, a better you every day. Why is that the case? Because we are always changing. It is the nature of reality for us to change, for everything to change. Every day, a little bit, things change. And so there's no question that things will be different. Perfection has nothing to do with the state that we have. Nothing to do with the attributes that we embody. We can change the attributes, we will still be perfect. The attributes can um, um, lead to more, more well-being or more suffering. Um, the way that our, our patterns of thoughts can lead to more well-being or suffering, but that doesn't mean that they're better or worse. It doesn't mean that they're better or worse. It means just that that they lead to suffering or well-being. And when we notice that we have a self-correcting system inside our minds, that when we stop letting um, ourselves get confused about the nature of um, reality that our um, that our, our that in every moment we are feeling our thinking with that when we feel an emotion we're feeling our thinking literally we're not feeling the world emotions don't re represent the world they represent our thinking that we're feeling our thinking and so when we have an intense feeling, a painful feeling, we're feeling painful thoughts. And those thoughts may or may not represent reality very well. And when you notice that, when you're aware of that, you can just relax and notice that the thoughts will come and go, they will change. And the emotional reaction to those thoughts will come and go, it will change. It allows us to relax and stop um, 
recurring, you know, creating this cycle of thought, emotion. When we think, oh, I'm feeling bad, something must be bad, and then we feel worse, and then it creates this cycle. So instead, we just notice that there is a, um, a feeling which says that there's some bad thinking, if it's a negative feeling, or if it's a good thinking, good feeling, then we notice there's good thinking. This can lead to well-being. This doesn't mean it's better or worse. And that's one of the ex examples of, of this duality, that yes, we can notice that we're perfect, that we have a self-correcting system, that we are um, uh, um, you know, constantly feeling our thinking, and yet we can also learn about strategies to change our thinking. We can learn about um, um, you know, NLP or coaching or um, lots of psychology, lots of different ways to influence the mind, our own minds, to increase our well-being. And that is also very powerful. You know, things like keeping a gratitude log, very powerful. Things like doing meditation, very powerful. So, do you notice that sometimes you, you get stuck in either-or thinking, and in black and white thinking? What, what are the shades of grey in between? We are curious to hear your thoughts. I'll see you tomorrow.